Yeah, he's back finally, right? Took a little another break, was launching a few things. Let me tell you something right now, though. You probably read the title and instantly was like, cool. How do I make these daily deposits, Justin? I'm ready to make some daily deposits. But here's my problem. When I'm talking about daily deposits, I'm talking about something completely different. I made a post one day uh, on Facebook and some people laughed about it. And some people got the idea. A lot of people laughed. And it's fine. It was kind of funny, right? But what made me what made me a little upset about that bullshit, though, is like, yo, you're laughing and you're not changing. You're laughing and you're the one that I'm probably talking to, right? Because here's the thing. You need to be making daily deposits and fuck all these withdrawals. Too many people are looking for the withdrawal button when they haven't even made any deposits yet, right? And I'm talking about when it comes to deposits, I'm talking about deposits in all aspects of your life, right? You can't sit there and want the six pack abs if you haven't like, you know, made a deposit of a workout or made the deposit of uh, eating right, right? You know what I mean? If you're making bad deposits or if you're doing all the withdrawals, you know what I mean? How can you expect to really get anything out of life, right? So it's the same thing with your relationships. It's the same thing with your business. Too many people are looking for the withdrawal button and they haven't done shit for their business yet, right? They're looking for the instant payout. They're looking for, and then some people feel like they have been making deposits, but you haven't. You haven't been making any type of deposits. You haven't been doing the real work. You haven't been putting any any value in the marketplace. It's just like Jim Rohn said, you get, you get paid to bring value to the marketplace one way or the other. Now, a lot of people get this misconstrued because they don't exactly know what value is, but value is basically your thoughts, your opinions, um, anything that you can do to add to the marketplace in any aspect, right? Whether it's your knowledge, whether it's your opinion on it, wh whether it's your view on it, right? Your value is you. It's what do you bring to the table? I see some people on Facebook and all they're doing is posting like motivational shit, which is good. They're bringing some type of value. But once again, you get paid by the det uh, by the amount of value that you bring to the table. So taking some like quote that you see off of Google and then posting it on Facebook every day, that's why you're making pennies on the dollars because that is not that much value to give, right? Instead, brand you and start making those daily deposits. But this goes everywhere. This goes everywhere. Like, man, all right, so instant, for instance, right, when I make daily deposits to my girlfriend, okay, and this could be a whole bunch of different things, right? It could be like uh, a text. It could be a naked picture of me. It could be, you know I mean? I know for some of y'all, you're going to be like, damn, don't do that to me. <laughs> but anyways, it could be any of that stuff, flowers, date night. I want you to think about the return that I'm going to get. What kind of withdrawal can I make out of that relationship now, right? I can get sex when I want. I can get, you know, uh, love, right? I can get attention. Uh, I get help, right? But here's the thing about it. Where do you think that rolls into my business now, into my life now, right? Because now my home life is good. And so now I'm over here servicing other people because I feel good. I feel better. So it carries on. How you do anything is how you do everything. And so many people are messing this stuff up, right? They're only making deposits only in their business and they're not taking care of their home life. And hear me out. I am not saying that you cannot make money. You know, you, you know, there's a lot of people that have a home, a bad home life and a bad um, inner game going on and they still learn how to make money. Here's my thing. If you have not found out yet, that's what I'm going to I'm going to ask you to do is start making deposits in your life. Right. Like for me, it just didn't work out. Like you hear about Robin Williams, right? Robin Williams, you hear uh, Chester, right, from, um, you know what I mean, uh, Lincoln Park, right? Those guys were not happy with themselves, but still learn how to make a whole bunch of bukus of money, okay? For me, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't figure it out. I did not figure out how do I go and do these things, right? So instead, I had to do the opposite. I had to work on me in these areas. So I started making deposits. And the more deposits I, I took, the more withdrawals that I got, right? Now, that wasn't me actually going and taking the withdrawal. It would just come. It would just come because I was making so many deposits, right? So I put deposits in the marketplace. Guess what? I got sales. I got leads. I got people coming to me. And that's why every now and then I get a sell out of nowhere, right? Like it's just like somebody like I, I thought I was putting all my work and my value right here in this one spot and come to find out somebody way over here is signed up. And what I mean by that is I might have been talking about or I've been talking to like 10 people on Facebook, right? And then all of a sudden somebody sees me on YouTube and they're like, yo, I want to sign up 500 bucks, right? $1,000, whatever it is. 
And I'm like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. But I was adding so much deposit or depositing so much that the world was allowing me to withdraw. Do you see what I'm saying? The universe was allowing me to withdraw. Same thing with my relationship. Same thing with my health, right? Same thing with my mindset. The more shit that you put in, the more you deposit on that mindset, the better the withdrawal that you're going to have. I'm telling you right now. But if you just say, well, I got a positive mindset, but you don't focus on it each and every day, how can you expect to withdraw? It's kind of like your bank account, right? If you make one deposit and then you keep on withdrawing, it doesn't fucking work, right? Eventually, your bank is going to say, sorry, you have no money, right? You're insufficient. So that's what life is giving you right now. They're te life is telling you you're fucking insufficient because you're not making deposits. So what I'm trying to tell you is each and every day you should be making deposits, now, in my personal development community, what we decided to do is we deposit in four different categories with our business, okay, with our mindset, with our health, and with our relationships. And relationships play a key role. People don't say it. I mean, people don't see it. Like I said earlier, right? I was like, okay, look, when I make deposits in my girlfriend, guess what? It carries over my business because my home life is settled. So therefore, I can give more attention here, right? Some of you, you are still fighting your spouse or you're still fighting that inner critic or that critic of your girlfriend or of your boyfriend or of your husband or of your wife, you know what I mean? And they're beating you up and you can't even stay focused on business. Now, I'm not a therapist. I already know that some of you are going to try to make those deposits and you're not always going to get the return you were looking for. And that's fine. Only then can you decide on whether or not you got to move forward, leave them, whatever it is. But I will tell you this, okay? The more you can make deposits in your life, though, at least, is you start stacking up the confidence. And once you have the confidence, you'll move forward with or without this person. It won't even matter because you're making moves. And then you're either going to encourage this person or then you're finally going to have the balls drop to where you can sit there and leave that person. Now, I'm not telling you to leave your spouse or anything like that. Like I said, I'm not a therapist and I'm not trying to give you that type of stuff. All I'm trying to say is work hard on you right now. You know what I mean? Make yourself a little bit selfish and start adding those deposits. Now, I know that's like, that's contradicting itself, right? Because deposits is all about giving, simply, right? Deposits is all about giving. And I'm over here telling you to be selfless or selfish, right? But what I mean is just focus on your shit. That's all I'm basically trying to say is take some time to focus on your shit, right? Have you stack deposits each and every day in those four categories? And if you have, pat yourself on the back for that day. And you're good. You know what I mean? You can go to rest a little bit easier at night. And I know when the bills are stressed up and all the bullshit is going on, I know it's hard. But if you can do that each and every day, you'll be amazed. If you're making that many deposits, where do you think you'll be in about six months to a year? Right? And I know that doesn't sound sexy. Most people want to hear that, oh, in 90 days, I'm going to be a fucking millionaire or something. And look, you probably can but you're never going to get anywhere if you're not making daily deposits. That's all I'm trying to say. So make those fucking deposits, right? Excuse me, in those four categories. Now, these deposits can be simple, guys. Don't overthink this, right? Like, it's kind of like when you go to work out, right? Your deposit for a workout is every time that you do um, a curl, right? Every time you do a push-up or every time you do a bench press, right? You're making a deposit, right? Every time you just put in a workout in, you're making a deposit. Are you going to have like, you know, the nicest body in the world after one workout? Hell no. So that's why you keep stacking these deposits. How do you make deposits in relationships? It could be simple. It could be text. It could be flowers. It could be thank you cards. It could be anything of that nature. How do you make deposits on you? You go work out. How do you make deposits on your mindset? You read a book, you meditate, you something, you do something to fill that, uh, that mind and start depositing the good stuff in it. You know what? Here's the crazy thing about it, man. I saw this TikTok video where this guy went and asked a whole bunch of people that were all wearing a mask. And he said, hey, listen, if you know that you got the vaccine and you know that um, basically, you know, you cannot wear, you don't have to wear a mask anymore. Why are you still wearing a mask? They said, I don't know. Their, their answer was, I don't know, or it just doesn't feel right now to not wear a mask. See, they were so conditioned, they were so programmed that they think that the mask is a normal thing. I don't care how you look at it. I don't care how you look at it. You can, you can fight me on this whole COVID thing. You can fight me on you know, what your beliefs are and all that bullshit. I don't care. No matter what, though, there's no way that you can sit there and say a mask is a normal thing because we lived... 2,000 years without them. So don't tell me it's a normal thing. It's not a normal thing. It might feel normal to you because it, it, it 
it, it you know you know it lowers your anxiety levels but it's not like a normal thing you see what i'm saying but these people never had an answer for that because they were so programmed and they were so conditioned a certain way so that's exactly what you got to do so what you're doing when you're making those deposits every day you're conditioning yourself for something different man and that is how you start making success happen that's how you start winning each and every day you stack the fucking wins so stack some wins bitch and get started with us